Hello everyone, welcome back to Coding Threads. So in this session we are going to see about the activity 20H from data analysis. So what is this activity is you will open the file called tutors.csv and here you will find the list of numbers of students and initials for the personal tutor. So you will find the list of number of students and initial for tutors. So let us see that. So this is how this is a forename and initials. So next what they are asking is you will insert a formula in the tutor name column. So you will find this tutor name up for this initials from the file teachers.csv. So you will be using teachers.csv. So let us see teachers.csv. Then this is a teachers.csv. See the okay, the file or is in the vertical position. The name the, the it is in the columns in the columns position. So you will be using vertically. So it, since it is in vertical position, you will be using VLOOKUP. <coughs> so equal to VLOOKUP of. So what is the formula? VLOOKUP lookup value. So what is the lookup value? This is a lookup value. First one. Then what is a table array? So what you want here actually? Tutor name, right? So you will be selecting from here to here. Because depending on the initials, you are getting the tutor name. So you will be selecting here. See here, you will be using absolute reference here. Then they are asking you to get the to write the column number. So this is the first column number and this is the second column number. So here, so here I am writing the column number as two. So here I am writing the column number as two. Then. After that, you will, you will, uh, they will be asking with true or false. That means in the syntax, you will be asking with true or false. That means you want the exact match or the approximate match. So we want the exact match of this. So if it is KMO, we should get the exact name of KMO is Kate, Kate Morrissey, like this. So you want the exact match. So you will be closing this. Then see, so this is a tutor name of KMO. So just drag down, you will be getting all the names. So this is how you will be using with VLOOKUP. So you can see now. So this is how you will be using with VLOOKUP. So this is a formula which we are using. So VLOOKUP, the reference num the reference is B2. This is KMO. And the teachers.csv, which file you are, the lookup range. So this is a lookup range. Then column number. Then exact match or approximate match. So whichever you want, which which is some which is a value you want, you can choose here. So we want the exact match. So you are choosing the exact match. So that's all. So next they are asking for the room number. So here in the question they are asking you insert a formula in the room number column to look up the room number using the file rooms.csv. So you will be using rooms.csv here. So rooms.csv fine. So for this uh, you will be choosing H lookup because it is in the horizontal position. So this file is in the horizontal position. So you will be choosing H lookup. So let us write the H lookup formula equal to H lookup of. So what is the H lookup uh, syntax? Then the lookup value. First you will be using the lookup value. Then the table array. So table array should be from rooms.csv. So we will be choosing rooms.csv till here. Then what is the row index number? So your row index number should be 2. Then you want the exact match or uh, approximate match? We want exact match. So you will be choosing exact match. Then click on enter. Then you will get the room number. So just drag this. Just replicate this. So you will be getting the room numbers. So this is how you will get the room numbers. So this is how you will use VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. So just to remember here is HLOOKUP means horizontal lookup, VLOOKUP means vertical lookup. So if the reference file, if the reference is horizontal position, you will be using HLOOKUP. If the reference is vertical position, you will be using VLOOKUP. That's it. That is the only thing you should remember here. And that's all that will help you. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and share. Thank you.